is Rick Assel from ExercisesForInjuries.com. I wanted to talk to you about, you know, really the most important exercise to do when you flare up your back. So the three times that I've really flared up my back, it was actually a fourth involving the leg press. And uh, down below, I'll put a link to that leg press uh, video about the flaring up my back that time. But talking about this time, when I flared up my back, the number one exercise that I found for myself and for clients was right away trying to get into a back relaxation position. So what I ended up needing to do is lie on the floor and then having something to put my legs on. It could be a chair. A chair like this works okay. What ends up working better is a couch. What also ends up working um, good is a like a coffee table um, or one of those things in front of the couch that you put your legs on. And so let me show you what I end up doing. So I'll end up you know, lying down and how easy you get into this position will really vary, but I'm getting into this position and I'm trying to relax and I'm trying to really focus on relaxing all the muscles in my body, specifically the muscles in the hips it can be you know, the front, side, behind, inner part, and also the muscles in my low back area. So I want to connect my head brain to those muscles and get them to relax and decrease the tension. And what I'll end up doing is be in this position for about two to three minutes. You know, sometimes I'll end up being in this position for about five minutes in order to put myself in that back relaxation position, which is low stress on the back, and it allows me to begin that, you know, that recovery process when it comes to a back flare up, you know, by starting to relax the muscles so that muscle tension is decreased, which is one of the causes of pain in the lower back. And then the second thing is to start regaining that movement in the back because that lack of movement is also contributing to the pain. So after this, I would end up going into those movements that end up assisting when it comes to addressing muscle tightness and, um, and loss of movement when you end up having a back flare up. So next time you end up having a back flare up, try this position out, or if one of your clients do, try this position out, and then after that, start going through the, those movements that end up relaxing the muscles and ending up helping regain that movement. Those are the things that will end up helping overcome your low back pain. And for myself, the last three times, they've ended up helping me recover from my back flare up in about three days. So if you're wanting a little bit more information on the exact program that I end up using, um, you can check out Low Back Pain uh, Solved. Uh, that ends up being uh, the program that I end up using and giving to my clients when they flare up their back and what they can do in order to take control of their back flare up and recover from that back flare. So this is Rick Aselch from ExercisesForInjuries.com. Swing by the blog, there's all kinds of information when it comes to variety of injuries and um, exercises for them. And like I said, there's that low back pain uh, solved program that you can end up getting that'll help you overcome a low back pain flare. So this is Rick Asselz from ExercisesForInjuries.com. Say take care and bye-bye.